So, you want to learn about poultry. Poultry? You mean that stuff that rhymes? No, that would be poetry. Oh, I see. You're thinking chicken. That's right. Today, we're going to learn about the poultry industry, where chickens come from, and how they get to your table. First, I have a riddle for you. Well, I'm great at riddles. OK, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Now, that's an age-old question with no real answer. We know that eggs come from chickens, but where do chickens come from? Yes, David? From the supermarket. Well, yes and no. Jesse? From its mother. Yes, but that's not exactly the answer I'm looking for. Tommy, what do you think? From McDonald's? I know. Lots of the chickens produced in the United States come from right here on the Delmarva Peninsula. <gasps> exactly! You know, you'd make a great student teacher. Get it? Student? Teacher? Mm-hmm. People have been crazy about chicken for a long time. Even the pilgrims bought chickens over on the Mayflower. So the first Americans loved chicken just like we do today. Hey, did you know that the chicken produced here feeds not just us, but people all over the world? In Spain, they eat arroz con pollo. In India, chicken tandoori. In France, it's coca vin. In Russia, they enjoy kiernik. And here in the good old U.S. of A, well, there are hundreds of chicken meals we love. Hey, what are some of the ways we enjoy chicken? Barbecue chicken. Chicken soup. Chicken strips. Fried chicken. Chicken fajitas. Chicken sandwich. It's a fact. Chicken is the name of the game when it comes to good, nutritious food. Chicken dog. Mmm. Not only is chicken great tasting, but because safety is important every step of the way, it's safe and nutritious too. Did you know it's a scientific fact that chicken soup can make you feel better when you have a cold? <laughs> I didn't know that. But I do know it takes a lot of people to bring the chicken we love to the table. And kids can be a big help on the family farm. The main thing we have to do to keep these chickens in good shape is to um, make sure that nothing's busted and that they have water and food and nothing's clogged up and all the equipment's running. We feed our chickens a lot of soybeans and um, corn on our farm. I'm the fourth generation of Vanderwinds that farm. I've been growing chickens uh, for five years since I was a senior in high school. I like being my own boss. I think that's why I'm very satisfied being a farmer. Um, it's something my family's done for years. I've grown up on the farm, so I'm used to, used to the work. You know, there's some good days and bad days, but that's with anything, and I think the good outweighs the bad. It's nice to see a, a crop grow or, or an animal grow up, too. The chickens we eat are called broiler chickens and they're different from the chickens that lay the eggs that we eat. With broiler chicken, a special hen lays broiler eggs that will hatch into chickens that you see in the supermarket. From the breeder farm, the eggs go to a hatchery. Over 4,000 years ago, Egyptians invented incubators that could hatch 10,000 chickens at a time. Once the chickens have hatched, they're sent to a farm where they grow in chicken houses. These houses are huge. This is so the chickens have plenty of room to run around. The temperature is controlled so the chickens are comfortable, and the chicken house keeps them safe from foxes, bad weather, and other dangers. Did you know chickens have doctors? And they get vaccinations just like we do. I wonder if they get lollipops when they're through. Hmm, I couldn't answer that one. But there's no question, technology plays an important part in today's chicken farm. Speaking of technology, chicken eggs have even been to outer space and hatched back down here on Earth. These astro tricks were used to study the effects of gravity. Wow, astro chicks! That is far out! Get it? Far out? Like outer space? Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, it takes people and technology to make sure the chickens are properly fed and watered so they stay healthy. The farmer has to be sure the chickens have plenty to eat and fresh water to drink. The feed and water are dispensed automatically, meaning they come out of a machine. The chickens eat a mixture of corn and soybean meal with added vitamins and minerals. After the chickens are grown, they're ready for market. About a thousand trucks a week deliver chickens from the Delmarva Peninsula to customers around the world. Wow! No wonder so many people list chicken as their favorite food. Did you know in the early 1900s that only rich people could afford chicken? And it was a Sunday treat. That's incredible! Today, each American will eat about 80 pounds of chicken a year. That's a lot of chicken! It sure is. And with all that chicken being produced, the poultry industry works really hard to help protect the environment. Like many of you, chicken farmers recycle too. Wood shavings called chicken litter are collected from the floors of chicken houses and recycled to make fertilizer for flowers and other plants. Chicken litter can also be burned like coal or propane gas to produce energy. Chicken farming also helps the environment by keeping the land from being built up. That's right. And think about it, if there was no chicken farms, what would be built on the land? Maybe lots of people living in a little area of land, or shopping malls. And remember, people pollute the environment too. So all that open land means less pollution from overbuilding. And chicken farmers make sure they take proper care of the waste they do produce. Chicken farmers are committed to making sure they don't pollute. Hey, how many jobs can you think of in the chicken industry? Well, let's see. There's the chicken farmer. Right, but there's so much more. Whatever your interest is, I'll bet there's a job for you in the poultry industry. If you like being outdoors and working with nature, you can work on the chicken farm. And if you like computers, there are lots of jobs. You could be a veterinarian or work in sales selling chicken to the market. If you like math, you can be an accountant. How about a truck driver or the mechanic who takes care of the trucks? If you want to be a scientist, you could work in research or product development. And you could be a trainer, teaching others all kinds of things about the chicken industry. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities for other young people in the chicken business. You just kind of have to find your niche. The sky's the limit. And guess what? It's never too early for you to start thinking about what you want to do for a living. It helps our family make money, and it teaches us responsibility and discipline to watch out after the chickens. I guess you could say that chicken farming is much more than it's cracked up to be. But don't judge an egg by its shell. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. The poultry industry is truly an exact science, and I'm not yoking. You are extremely corny. The poultry industry is important because it provides safe, healthy, delicious food to people all around the world. And you can be a part of it too. Our family is proud to provide food for the world.